Praise the Lord. Wretched Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Everly Jr. If we could turn our Bibles to um, Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16, and it reads, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our professions. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And that's God's holy Bible. And we give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Amen. Um, what do we do when we go through a dark time? A difficult time and we seek comfort. Some may have a friend, a well-meaning friend that could comfort them by putting their arms around shoulders and telling them to hang in there, it's going to be all right. Maybe they'll offer a quick fixed response and it might not just quite minister to what you're going through. We know we have a friend in our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. In John chapter 15, verse 13, Jesus said, Greater love has no man than this, than one that will lay his life for his friend. And Jesus Christ was the perfect friend you know in proverbs chapter 17 verse 17 it says a friend loveth at all times and a brother is born for adversity proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 tells us a man that has a friend should show himself friendly and a brother a friend is, is sticks even closer than a brother and our Lord and Savior Jesus best embodies that for those who are going through probably a difficult and dark time because Jesus is a friend that sticks closer to, than a brother and he knows your pain he loves you so much and he'll help you through it. You know, so let's hold fast our profession that Jesus is, is indeed a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And he's born for adversity, a brother born in adversity. Verse 4, 15 of Hebrews chapter 4 tells us, For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Jesus was a, a, is, a, was a, is a high priest. He was a, he was a, a mediator, a go-between. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, Paul describes Jesus as there is one God, one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus was that mediator. Jesus is our, is our high priest. And in that office, he stands between holy God and sinful man. And he offered his blood as a sacrifice so that we could be reconciled to the Father and then we would have that access available to us forever. He, he, he even going through that dark time, he has that access to us. So as our, as our high priest, as our mediator. And, and not only that, as a, as, as a Jesus is our friend, our high priest, our mediator. He's also our intercessor because 
as verse 16 tells us, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. You know, when we're going through that time, the difficulties, the, the hardship, the heartache, that circumstances that's so diametrically against us, you know, our heart could be hurting. Our soul may be suffering. Our mind is in misery. Our strength is shrinking. But we have our Lord and Savior Jesus, our friend, our high priest, our mediator, our intercessor that will come to us. And, and when we're in that, in that state, he'll speak to us on our behalf to the Father. And that we could come boldly to the throne room. To the throne of grace. Come come boldly. And get in that tone of grace. That grace. The undeserved. Unearned. Unmerited favor. Where we're going to get what we don't deserve. Which is his love. His forgiveness. His blessings. His comfort. And that we could obtain mercy. Mercy. We're going to be withheld what we do deserve. So it's a double fold insurance that we're going to get the good that we don't deserve and we're going to be withheld the bad that we do deserve. And, 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 and then only that, we're going to also find more grace, find grace to help in that time of need, in that, in that, that dark time. That difficult time, that worrisome time. We're going to find grace in the time of need. Again, more undeserved, unearned, unmerited favor. God's assurance, God's love during that time. Jesus truly is a friend. Hold on to that profession, the Son of God. Jesus is our high priest our mediator, our intercessor, coming in between, getting in the midst of whatever situation that we're experiencing and just ready to give us grace, mercy, and grace on top of that. You know, the Apostle Paul said that, that Jesus, in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, he describes Jesus as the God of all comfort and that he comforts you in all our tribulations and that's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ hold on to that profession may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may the Lord's face shine upon you may the Lord lift up his conscience to you may the Lord give you his peace in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious and powerful and priceless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless in the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the wise only God, our Savior, be glory and majesty and dominion and power both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless, be comforted, agape love.